What's up, Jet Nation? Uh, Sean here, back with another uh, episode here on the Jet Show. Um, you know, the Elijah Moore trade demand um, news got broke last night. I was actually in bed sleeping, so I didn't catch it until this morning. Uh, I've been at work, so I haven't had an opportunity to get on and give you guys my thoughts. But um, yeah, it, it it hurts, man. Um, I'm extremely disappointed with Elijah. I mean. This is a guy that I really, really loved. Um, I know, you know, I've been saying for weeks now I'd love to get him the ball more and they need to get him more involved in the offense. And I've been, you know, disappointed about that. But I've also understood that we're winning games and, you know, not every game plan, um, you know, is going to be centered around certain guys. Um, you know, I've looked at it and said, you know, eventually we're going to have games where you know, Brees Hall's running game gets taken away, Garrett Wilson gets taken away, and Elijah Moore is going to be, you know, the star of the show, the star of the game. Um, you know, I figure we have so many weapons, it's really going to be dependent on game plan, matchups, what the defense takes away, where the ball ends up going. And I thought throughout the year you would find that by the end of the season, all these guys uh, would have some good numbers and uh, everybody would have had opportunities to contribute in big ways in different games um just depending on the matchups and how things went um and i'm just super super disappointed in this guy um you know he's young so i get that he's immature because he's young i get that um you know but you know i thought this guy would be better than this in terms of just his mentality I know he's competitive. I know he wants to help this team win. I get all that, but, um, you know, it hasn't been that, that long. You've only been here a year, one year and six games. You're only six games into your second season. You know, why not address this in-house? <clears throat> Have some conversations with the coaching staff, Zach, um, things like that, and give it a little bit of time. Um, you know, not just come out after six games and um, request a trade out of kind of nowhere. Um, you know, I think there is a, he could have gone about this a lot better ways. Not saying his frustration isn't necessarily warranted, but just the way you handle it, man, it, it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not a good look. Um, I think the Jets are handling it the right way. They're not training them. They're, they're pinching them. I don't think they're going to be bringing them on the trip at all to Denver. Um, basically handling it the same way that they handled the Denzel Mims uh, trade request in the preseason, which is totally different. I mean, Denzel Mims hasn't even dressed all season so far. So for him to want to be traded, I totally get it. I mean, Elijah's on the field, and eventually he's going to get his targets. Like I said, depending on where the game plan goes, the matchups go, and throughout the season, different teams are going to take away different players, and he's going to have his opportunities. Um, you know, I just... I, super pissed off at this point. I mean, this team is finally in the right position, right mentality, right culture. Um, and, you know, shit like this comes out, you know, and it's just super disappointing. Um, yeah. But, you know, I do think the Jets have a, a good mentality and culture. They have enough veteran leadership and the way they're building the culture in this franchise, I think this is going to be put to the side and it's not really going to be an issue when it comes to, to uh, playing Denver this weekend. Um, you know, so, I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. We'll see where this goes. I think next week things are really going to start to uh, change um, and develop. Um, we'll hear more about this story and, you know, where the Jets decide to go with it. And uh, But let me know what you think in the comments of this guy, his decision, his comments. Let me know what you think the Jets should do. Should they move on? Should they trade him? Should they bench him? What should they do? Um, I guess I'll see you guys on the next one. Talk to you soon. Peace.